Hello YouTubers, Steve here with RV Site to Site. Welcome! Well today we're traveling on US 58 South along the Crystal Coast from Emerald Isle to Fort Macon State Park. We hope that you'll come along so buckle up and let's go! We're traveling over the Bogue Sound. If you go out to the far distance there, you'll go to the Atlantic Ocean. This uh, bridge recently added these rails. I feel better now. We're coming up to Emerald Isle now, and at this stoplight, if you get in the right-hand lane, you can go to Holiday Travel Park, RV Resort. Uh, it's a little expensive. Rini and I have stayed there a few times, but it does have beach access. Now, if you'd like to get more information about this area, up ahead is the Crystal Coast Information Center. Just turn right uh, at this intersection. All right, we'll turn right here and go over to the Bogue Inlet here and the Eastern Beach Access and see what it's all about. Well, here we are at the Bogue Inlet Pier. I'm using the webcam for the pier at this time. Uh, the pier was built in 1957, but it was sold to the current owners in 1971. Uh, it's been partially destroyed over the years by several hurricanes, but it's always been rebuilt and improved. Up here on the left is the North Carolina Wildlife Public Boat Ramp. So let's go down and take a look at that. We've continued traveling south on US 58 and we're now at the Eastern Beach Access and I see the red flag flying there, which usually means uh, we can't swim or do much else except sit on the beach. So let's walk out to the beach and see what it looks like. All right, a nice water place to sit down and enjoy yourself. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful area. Sorry for the clouds today, but it's just uh, been stormy all week long. Uh, we get bits of sunshine every now and then, but uh, today is not uh, that day, apparently. We'll see what later in the day brings. But, uh, really nice area here. They protected beach grasses to protect the dunes here. 
but this is a, a beautiful area with plenty of parking, restroom facilities, a nice place to bring your family. From the eastern public beach access, we continued south on US 58 and turned down to the road that leads to the North Carolina Aquarium. And the North Carolina Aquarium is in the middle of the Theodore Roosevelt Natural Area. Okay, here we are at the North Carolina Aquarium. Doing good, Harry. <laughs> so, what do they eat? This is shrimp and a few bit of clam and fish and krill. So, basically, the same thing I eat for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> He took a look at that. He went. Aquarium also has a really nice gift shop. Aquarium also has a Dairy Queen here for some refreshments and nice shakes and different things. Uh, it'll be alright. Yeah. Yeah, he said no. He was right. You're braver than I am. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the North Carolina Aquarium. It's a great place to visit. Right now we're heading into Atlantic Beach as we continue on toward Fort Macon State Park.
right here we've arrived at the Fort Macon State Park beach area. It adjoins the State Park picnic area. We'll go there next. Here is the picnic area within an easy walk to the beach. Well, as we come into the area of Fort Macon, uh, I would appreciate it if you would pause this video and subscribe to this video, like this video, and share this video. Off to the left up here is the U.S. Coast Guard Station. But do tell your friends about this channel if you don't mind. Fort Macon was established as a state park in 1936 and they have approximately 1.3 million visitors per year. I'm not sure about 2020, but uh, historically they have a lot of visitors off to the, in the distance there you see the ocean and the inlet. Well, due to the pandemic that's going on, it looks like that there's probably not going to reach the 1.3 million visitors this year. So let's get parked and go inside and take a look. So I see a storyboard up here on the right, and as Russ with RV or TV would say, let's take a look at the storyboard. And if you want to read hit this right here, just pause it and read it. Uh, but let's go on up to the building here. Sorry, my camera's tilted a little bit. This part right here is not the actual fort, but uh, a newer addition added uh, for a museum and information center. All right, let's go inside and take a look around. might enjoy checking out the gift shop and picking up some souvenirs to take home.
All right, let's go take a look at the fort. Five-sided Fort Macon was once a project of Robert E. Lee as a young army engineer. It was built in 1826. The fort has 26 rooms with outer walls almost 5 feet thick. Let's take a look at a few of them right now. No, this is not a pizza oven. It is an oven used to heat cannonballs to red hot so when they're fired, they would set a ship on fire. It is called a hot shot furnace. Notice that these steep walls here do not have guardrails, so if you have children, make sure that you watch them and don't let them fall over the edge. 
Again, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos in the future, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and as Russ says on RVR TV, talk soon. So here we are at Fort Macon State Park. Really, really nice. The park is behind us there. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Uh, and encourage you to come and see it. You're supposed to smile at me like <laughs> Trish does. Yeah. Just keep smiling. <laughs> While I talk. Yeah.